So in today's video, I'm just going to be showing you how to set up a vanilla Minecraft server uh, with no mods, without bucket. How to set up mods and bucket is pretty easy, and both Forge and Spigot have their own tutorials for how to do that once you've got a server set up, so I'm not going to make a tutorial on that. I apologize if the quality of this tutorial is not great. Uh, I did this basically impromptu because a friend asked me to. And I also understand that the quality of my voice is not the best right now, and I apologize for that. Um, without further ado, here's the tutorial. I hope it's helpful, and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so the first thing that you're actually going to do is you're going to open up Google or whatever you use. Go to Minecraft server. Um, and just ignore all of the ads and go to this website. So it's minecraft.net slash download slash server. This en-us is just for whatever language you're in. Um, this only works on your computer. It doesn't work on Xbox or whatever. It's just for Java edition. So um, you can download the latest version here, which is what I'm gonna be showing you how to set up. However, you can also go to mcversions.net and if you click on download, like let's say I want to do 1.7.10, you just download 1.7.10 and then you download the server jar and there you go. Uh, so first things that I'm gonna do, make sure you have Java installed on your computer. You should already have it installed if you are running Minecraft. Okay, so what you wanna do is the server file on your desktop, make a new folder, call it uh, whatever the hell you wanna call it. Throw it in there. And then you're just gonna open it. So you're just gonna run it. And nothing's gonna happen for a second, but then a couple files should appear. So then what you have to do is you have to open the eula.txt and then just change this eula to true, save the file, and then you can open up the server again. And it will create a window. Now that we have this window open, it is starting to create all the files that it needs for the server, and then um, because I'm running some stuff in the background, it might take a little while, so we'll just cut to when it's done. What you're going to do is just close the window. Um, if you just type in stop, it will safely shut it down, and then it will automatically close it for you. So here's where you actually set up the server and get it to work with your internet. First thing that you need to do is you need to look at your router, and you need to get an image of all of the things on the bottom of your router. So I'm just going to throw up on screen the picture of my router that I'm going to be using with some of the information censored out um, and replaced with just like a basic format because, you know, I don't want you to know any of that information. But, um, you know, you still need to understand what it is and what it looks like to be able to follow along. Uh, and then what you're going to do is you're going to go to your network settings. In Mac, it's just system preferences, network, and then advanced. I don't know what it is on Windows, but this is how you go to Mac. And you go to the TCP IP tab, and you need to use your IPv4 address and your router. So just know your IPv4 address and your router. So you're going to go to your web browser, and then type in your router address just as it is. And then the username and password will be on your router. The username will probably be uh, labeled as something like unit login, and then the password will be just some very long string of numbers. So then you're going to log into your router, and you're going to go to wherever the settings is for like virtual servers or ports. Um, it might be different on your router. My router is a specifically Eris brand, so it's right in the Firewall tab for me, but it might be different for you. You're going to click Add, and then Description is whatever. It doesn't matter. Um, I just call it Minecraft. And it's going to be 25565 to 25565 for all of these, for the inbound port and for the local port. And you can change this if you want to. You just have to make sure that they're all the same number. I recommend just sticking with the defaults for Minecraft. Uh, the format is not going to be TCP or UDP. It's going to be both TCP and UDP. And your private IP address is going to be whatever your IPv4 address is that you found in your network settings. Wait for your unit to update. And then once it's done, you should be finished. 
I would recommend just keeping that tab open just in case something goes wrong because this can be a little bit of a buggy process. Then what you're going to do is go into your server.properties. You should be able to open it with text edit and you are going to, for the server IP prompt, just paste in your IPv4 address. Make sure that your port right here, query.port, is set to 25565. Uh, these prompts might be just a little bit different depending on what version you're installing, but they should basically say the same thing. Your port is going to be 25565 or whatever number you decide to set it as, and then your server IP is going to be your IPv4 address. Now save that file, and then what you're going to do is launch the server again. Okay, so now that the server is up and running, just open up Minecraft and make sure that you can connect. One thing you want to do is go to what's my IP and then it will uh, show your IP address and you're just going to copy that number and that is going to be the number that you're going to use and that you're going to give to your friends in order to connect to the server. And then what you're going to do is you're just going to click add server and paste in that server address done and then try jumping in. And there you go. I have jumped into the server without any problems. And what you want to do is do OP and then your username. And that way you can be a server operator and you can access all the commands that you need to. And then from that, uh, most commands in the console are pretty much exactly the same as they would be in Minecraft, but without any of the forward slash commands. For example, if you do hi, if you do say hi, the server will say hi, so on and so forth. So that's how you install a vanilla Minecraft server. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you, uh, and I will see you all later.